It is currently 91 degrees on here. And there's no wind. Oh, that's the water temperature, too. Ready to wreck them, bud? Let's go wreck them. Florida 2021. What's up, bitchin' and bassin' fam? It is so good to be back. I know it's been a while since you've seen me, and I'm sorry, but I have had a hell of a month, a little bit more than a month, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick channel update and also show you guys old ones that I like time fish. I know you guys would usually get a dope video by now, but we're a little behind because we've just had a crazy month. Uh, one, I was on vacation for three weeks, we came back and my son Miles had his first birthday party and then we the next week we had a graduation party and a family from Florida came up and it's I mean it's been awesome I love them we, I mean I've been having a great time it just hasn't given me too much time to get to editing because when it comes down to it guys I'm sorry I love y'all but family is the priority now bitchin and bassin fam you're right there behind them so that's why you guys are seeing me now we're gonna hit it hard I'm back on it. Things are going to start to settle down. Like I said, we went on vacation. We went to Florida. You know me. We, we took the fish and stuff with us. Um, we caught a hell of well, my nephew. We uh, I caught a ton of fish down there. Unfortunately, you guys won't be seeing that because I freaking lost the GoPro with a memory card full. I, I bought big memory cards so I could just fill them up and I didn't have to do... Dude, the thing about Florida that's so cool is I caught a three pound freaking bowfin in a dog park. And like, I probably would have caught, there were some big bass on I didn't have a ton of time, but it, it, this place was a dog park and the lake is bigger than like North Park Lake. Like that was just in a dark. So, but anyways, I'm getting off the track. I want to get you guys to this fish, but yeah. So we lost the GoPro. It's off in Florida. That's another story for another day. Um, also, I freaking broke my phone twice in the last month since we went on big. Yeah, you heard me. Two times. Two times. Twice. Two times. Yeah, same phone. Two breaks. So that was a lot of money. It's, it's a brand new. You guys are. I'm filming on it now, so I got it fixed twice. Twice. Got it fixed before vacation. And then the vacation home had tile. And it just. Oh, man. Man, it was, and it kind of messed stuff up, but we still had a great time with family. It didn't mess none of that up. So, but yeah, guys, so it's been pretty hectic. I'm sorry. I, we still have a ton of videos in the vault. Like, we got a, a banging eerie video, Keystone State Park, banging Shenango video. So, guys, stick with me. I got the videos coming where I'm going to get some t shirt designs in. We're going to start selling some t shirts that everything goes right back into the channel because. I'm not we had to get another, I finally got another GoPro. Again, another tip. If you guys see me out, say what's up. I love seeing you guys. I love the support. So, um, I love to fish with as many of you as I can. So, make sure to subscribe if you may. If you're watching this and you can subscribe, please support the fam and subscribe, like the video, all that. But, let's get into this fish. So, remember before I said we went on vacation and you know we love going to Florida. And I love fishing Florida. It is not easy like everyone thinks. You can't just go down there and catch fish. Like, you gotta learn how to fish it. So, picking a guide service, which is what I will always, when we go to Florida, I'll usually always pick one day and just spend the money and go out with a guide, someone that knows the lake, knows the big fish, because I mean, that's what we're down there. You know what I'm chasing, guys. I'm chasing hogs for y'all. Unfortunately, because of losing the GoPro, I still had my other GoPro, and then I don't have the, I didn't have the equipment to have, like, you know, let it run all day. So, I did get all the key kind of, 
clips of all the key fish of the day so you guys are gonna see that I just wanted to set it up a little bit but yeah we uh we went we ended up setting up a day for Headwaters Lake I went there in freaking February it was not a good experience but that's a whole nother story we won't get into that I'm not gonna put anybody on blast but this time I picked the perfect guide service catching bass out of Vero Beach Florida and um uh, if you guys don't know the Headwaters Lakes, it's four lakes that were built just to bass fish. Uh, I think uh, Blue uh, Cypress, Blue Cypress is one, the Stick Marsh is one, also known as Farm 13, Headwaters is one, and there's, there's another one, I think Garcia maybe? But yeah guys, they're literally just square giant cuts of water as far as the eye can see, grass and all kind of trees and stuff, so it's, I mean, it's, it's, they're big bass factories, so. We ended up going with Catching Bass Guide Service and Captain Kenny out of Vero Beach, Florida. They also work with Felsmere Outdoors. So guys, if you want to catch a big bass, picking the right guide service, if that's the route you're going to go, is key. And the reason why Catching Bass was awesome, I had my nephew with me who, is, who caught the monster. And he's never fished with a baitcaster before. I told Kenny the day before what we like to throw what he was good at throwing and that he picked stuff up quick like me. And right off the bat, Kenny made us feel comfortable. I was allowed to throw whatever I wanted. I brought a whole kind of, I must've thrown 30 different lures during the day. Like I caught some fish, but I didn't have near the day that Tayon, Tavon, my nephew had. And you guys are gonna see here in a second that he kind of just put us on fish and he let me throw what I wanted. He made suggestions. Like it was just, when I look forward to guide service, Kenny with catching bass nailed it. He freaking nailed it, dude. We had an awesome day and we had a trip that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And that's exactly what you look for when you're going on a fishing trip. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna quit rambling. Let's get right to it. But yeah, catching bass, Captain Kenny. We go out. He has a nice skeeter. Ready to go wreck him, bud. The reason why he's such a good guy, I wanted to go to Headwaters, but he had a killer day on Stick Marsh. Told me about it. Kind of let me make the decision, but me being me, like, he's the guy. I'm like, dude, whatever you think, I just want to catch fish. I had my nephew table, and we just wanted to have a blast and to get on. His PB was only, you know, two pounds, maybe just over two pounds. And his brother, who doesn't fish as much, got lucky and got a three-pounder, and he's kind of been holding that over his head. So, like, that was the goal of this trip. We're going to get Tave on, on his PB. I'm going to get my PB, which is only five, six. We're going to crush it, all that. So, I was just happy to go. So, he said, stick marsh it is. So, he gets Tave on all set up. Tave on right off the bat catches on. He's freaking throwing a bait caster. Like, dude, it literally took him, like, two casts because... He has, like, I don't know if you guys have fished with God service before, and a lot of guys try to, uh, not that they try to buy like, cheaper stuff, they just try to buy more durable stuff, and it tends to be, like, stuff you're not familiar with. Well, Captain Kenny had all SLX DCs because they are so easy and user-friendly. So, Tayron is using a freaking $150, $180 reel, and he's, he's crushing it. He's, he's freaking crushing it. It's just... We move here, Got him. Got him. Dude, first swing, bro. First swing, you got it. Done. That's already your PB, Ted. That's your PB already, and you got. You, you're, it's a bigger fish than I caught. <laughs> nice. Good job, buddy. Okay. Look at that, Another beautiful fish, two pounder, two and a half, two. Dude, he's putting on a clinic in the back of the boat. I, I should have brought you last time. You're the lucky charm, kid. <laughs> this freaking dinosaur, dude. Well, within the first hour, Tavon crushed his PB twice. He caught like a freaking almost a three pounder, and then he freaking cracked just under a five pounder, four and a half, five pounder. Boom, PB. Boom, gold done. Sharp they got teeth. little teeth. They won't puncture you. It feels like sandpaper. Four and a half. Tay's BB is four and a half pounds. Ooh. You let him go or me to let him? You let him go. All right, buddy. Yeah. Look at Tay catching a giant, dude. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hell yeah, Tay. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. Dude, hell yeah. <laughs> Switch that shiner. If that's is that what it is? Tay got his first jar. Spotted guy, he's a thick one. He's just not 
Our community is that young. Javon's crushing it right off the bat. Boom, starts catching fish. I catch a frog fish. I'm throwing all kinds of different stuff. I missed a couple huge fish. Like, guys, I had like a seven pound fish land on my freaking spook. It somehow didn't get not nan one of them three hooks. I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm still so nan nan. But we're having a blast. And, and then it just, it gets freaking super hot. It just gets so hot. It is currently 91 degrees on here. And there's no wind. Oh, that's the water temperature, too. Yeah, that's not, that's not. Yeah, the water's not there. I feel like I'm in the Sierra Desert. I need hope. Hope well, we'll keep y'all updated. So, we're catching fish here and there. It slows down. We're getting lower on... on uh, shiners and now I focus kind of more on what I'm doing because he's Tavon's good like he was crushing it like I told y'all and um like I said later in the day the catches start getting a little fewer and far between we go out we, we change spots from the little spillway dam spot and we go out to like there's this long ditch canal that runs the whole like main lake part of this thing and uh there's shell beds and grass and stuff and we're fishing the shell beds and we were catching them in we had seen bait jumping before and he hadn't made the call. And then I didn't know where we just see bait jumping. Well, he noticed that Captain Kenny noticed the bait jumping first. And for some reason, this time when he seen it, he must have spotted a big fish or something. I think he might have said that. But uh, he's like, oh, bait jumping. I think I see fish over. And he makes the call and we change spots. His bait were jumping was just kind of random we're just kind of going off what we see at the surface we kind of move maybe a football field half a football field worth of space and i tell you what this is like you know six hours into the day five hours into the day catching fish Tavon's pooped he he has to take a break literally he has to take a break and uh captain kenny says well we'll still put a shiner on it and uh we'll let it sit out there we had been at the spot where the action had been for i, I got a couple casts on it it had settled down but he finally gets the shiner rehooked up because I think Tamron cast off the first one as soon as we got there because we were a little excited. So he says, I'll rig it up, cast it out there for you, and you kind of just watch it. So Tavon sits down. He cast it out there. I'm fishing. I think I get a good bite. And um, it's just quiet for a minute. It was like dead. Like there was no wind. Nothing. It was so hot out there. I feel like I'm in the Sierra Desert. Was so hot and then on top of it, like the water wasn't moving. The freaking air wasn't moving like that. It was just unreal, dude. But anyways, it's just quiet for a minute. And then all of a sudden, freaking free willy, this whale of a freaking fish just eats this shiner. Goes completely airborne. the 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 bobber under but then it stops like i think the fish like ate it and it just kind of stayed close to the surface it didn't die like because we waited i'm excited i'm not saying nothing when i first i spotted it me and captain kenny know right away this is a giant That was a good one. I've seen that right there. This is a good one. I didn't know. I knew it was at least seven. I didn't know it was as big as what it ended up being. Captain Kenny did because it's the first time he grabbed the net all day. But I didn't want to, uh, on a hook set or two before, I kind of told Tavon, like, excitedly thinking the fish was bigger. Because, well, I didn't see that fish, but I told him to set the hook. And it was a little bit early because the shiner fishing is very key. You got to let the fish eat the bait, blah, blah, blah. I messed up. Finally, he gives him, hey, set the hook. Tavon sets the hook on this thing, and this thing down here pulled him in the water. Like, he did a little skip step because he kind of leaned back when he did it, and it's like he leaned back, and the fish was like, nope, and stood him right back up, like, real quick. There was, uh, that's when I was like, oh, this is big. Dude, that's a good fish. That's your PB. That's your PB. <laughs> 
That is a good fish, dude. Keep reeling, bro. Keep tight on it. Keep tight on that fish. Dude, he just caught a giant. It's a rod that's like, you need to have a beefy rod for shiny rods. And this thing doubled over. Uh, and then this thing jump, jump, jumps. I saw it eat it originally. Keep it. Dude, dude. Oh my goodness. Fish of a lifetime. I knew when that jumped, I knew it was a fish of a lifetime. That's twice as big as the one that just got Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen in person, dude. And uh, finally. Hey, freaking brings it into the net, and man. As soon as that thing hit the deck, and I got a first good look at it, I you tell by the video, I freak out. I freak, I can't believe it. So like you would have thought I caught the fish. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's kind of unexplainable. It's almost like, for me, it's I, I equate it to like roller coaster adrenaline. Like after that first hill, or at that very top, right when you start to go over, it was just. Out of nowhere, just zero to a thousand, just like. Oh my god, because like that's the goal was accomplished. Like my nephew, the fish ended up going on certified scales. Captain Kenny keeps a certified scale on that thing. Come on, guys, you fishing crazy waters. That thing ended up going nine and a quarter pounds, which is insane. Like that's just unreal. But yeah, guys, it's something that is like. I mean, Captain Kenny gave me something that I'll remember for my life, for my whole life. And I've been on eight, nine guide trips and Captain Kenny's right up there with my favorite, which he gave me another experience that I'll never forget, never forget, never forget, never forget. By its mouth, bud. And just kind of, let's give him some water. Oh my God. Come on, bud, get down here. You got to touch this again. What's your name? Give her a name. Um, Dude, this thing is a giant. Trisha. After I answer, I guess. Oh my good day. <laughs> I am so jealous. Alright, go ahead, grab by his mouth and just like shut him off like that. Or her. Got her? Mm -hmm. Tell goodbye. Bye, goodbye, Patricia. girl. There she goes. Look, one strong <laughs> kick and she's good. She's gone. <laughs> Oh, dude, dude, and he made the call and saw the bait fish running. Oh, yeah, man. man. Nice. Woo. Good job. Man, I got oh, some good man. Look at this. What was the name of your guide service again? Um, Catching Bass Guide. Look at that. Catching Bass. That thing is so big. Guys, we were fishing this basin. Fish were blowing up everywhere. He saw a bait fish running, made the last second call, which it could have been a dud, but you saw it wasn't. It was almost a 10-pounder. We had an awesome time on the lake. That's exactly what I was looking for in February. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get it done. And Captain Kenny came freaking through, dude. And it happens to be the fish of the freaking... Probably, like, Tay is excited, ecstatic, happy, but I still don't think he realizes how special that fish is. And, like, just how well he did. I'm so proud of the kid. Like, I'm proud of all my nieces and nephews. But... Tay is like, he's just more like me, so we got kind of give him a little more. He has ADHD like me. Him handling himself that day and then catching the fish. People thought I was mad. Like, oh, you're mad, Tay. Like, no, I'm almost more proud. Like, I am so proud of that kid. Like, the way he handled it and he caught a fish of a freaking lifetime. Like, I'm kind of glad in the way I still get to chase and I still get to go find, like, my fish of a lifetime. But at the same time, it's like, I'm so ecstatic for like that he got to experience that on vacation, like going down there because there's there's no talent if he'll ever get that chance again to, to catch a fish like that. But yeah, guys, it was just an awesome memory. I'll always remember. I can't thank Kenny enough. Please make sure you go check out Catching Bass Guide Service. Real simple. At Avero Beach, he has an awesome Facebook uh, page with all his info. And better yet, guys, when I found out, this is what I'm going to do next time I go back. i got to figure out how to record it, but we'll do a day trip. But he does night topwater trips at the big bass factory. Like, he said there is nights where they caught four and five sevens in a row. Like, 
Like, that's just telling you that, like, Kenny is the real deal. So, big shout out to you, Kenny. Uh, I had a trip of a lifetime. Never forget it. And hopefully, you guys will see why. And this is the, well, this is the day we had, but mainly this is that fish. This is that nine and a quarter pound hog. Hog. Nine pounds. Bruh. Alright, guys. It might not be Kay's freaking giant. This is caught on artificial, big old worm. Been looking for something like this all day. Probably pretty close to uh, the biggest fish I got is five and a half. This is probably right around five, but gorgeous fish, man. Best fish of the year for me, right here. Captain's putting us on him. We're gonna get a quick scale shot and some picks. That felt good. He was right where you said, like I cast it to the, where that blow up was, but I don't think that's a good one. Five pounder. Right on. Like yeah, he's five on the button. Five pounds on the dot. Four pounds away from this dude, but hey, <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, such a good Use the kick. Here she goes. Yes. Okay, so you're catching the third fish, fish of the day. Yeah, pressure change. It is currently 91 degrees on here. And there's no wind. Oh, that's the water temperature. I feel like I'm in the Sierra Desert. I need hope. Hope we'll keep y'all updated. What is this, your fourth fish? Fourth fish of the day for Uncle Casey. Thank you. Good and fish she's today. Off. Good fish today. We have been fishing for eight out ten hours. And that is hot. We yeah. is now ninety three point one degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry. I'm mean, dumb. I don't like it. But um That's the biggest fish I've ever seen in person, dude. Oh my god! We're Jurassic Park.